Welcome back to another episode of Three Dollars Down, ladies and gentlemen. I went to the store earlier today to pick up another bag of those Sabatone chips, but unfortunately, they were all sold out, and it kind of perplexes me because I remember before I bought that one bag of chips, those particular chips were always stocked on the shelves. There were always so many of them. Every time I went to Walmart, Kroger's, the gas station, wherever, there would always be lines of those Sabatone chips, dude. Now I finally buy one bag, just one bag to try out, and I ended up really liking those chips. I went back for more, and now they're all gone. They're nowhere to be seen. What is this mess? What is this black magic? What is this blasphemy? This is ridiculous. And no one, no one was buying these chips before. What changed? What changed? I'm telling you, I just buy one bag and now everyone, this is like America's favorite chips now. What is this mess? I can't find these chips anywhere anymore. I went to Walmart. They didn't have them. Kroger's didn't have them. The gas station didn't have them. Aldi, Lidl, the 99 cent store, no one has these chips anymore. It's like they just vanished off the face of the planet. What happened? Oh, like what's going on, man? I can't believe this. I had a taste for them too. I really enjoyed them. I, like they were, they're really good. The lemon and lime, or, I mean, uh, the lime and chili ones, they're really good, dude. Now I can't find them anywhere. So I had to settle for some Pringles. I picked up a bottle or a can, whatever, of Pringles, dude. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Pringles. I got the sour cream and onion ones. You can't go wrong with sour cream and onion. It's a classic flavor, dude. Really good. But I got a problem with Pringles. I don't have a problem with the flavor. I don't have a problem with the, the shape of the chips or anything. I've got a problem with the design of the tube itself. Why in God's name does Pringles not implement a way to raise the chips up as you eat them? So you know how Pringles are, right? They come in the tubular device. And once you get to like a certain point, it gets harder and harder to just grab one of the chips. You just can't reach down there. The tube is too narrow. The chips are too far down. You just can't reach it unless you have like tiny little baby hands. You just can't do it. So what you got to do is tilt the tube over to the side to make the chips kind of like slide out. But the problem with doing that is that you'll get crumbs all over the place. Dude, I was sitting here relaxing, sitting down, just watching some YouTube videos. And I got to that midway point in the Pringles where you got to start tilting it over. You got to start tilting it over. I looked down at myself and I was just covered in crumbs. My desk covered in crumbs there. I was going out of my way to make sure I wasn't getting any crumbs out. And it just wasn't working. I just couldn't stop the flow of the crumbs. There were just too many. Why? Is there not a way to raise the chips up as you eat them? I don't understand, dude. I'm telling I got an idea for it. Why don't they just put a spring like device at the bottom of the tube, along with some twisting mechanism that as you twist it, it raises the spring, thus raising the bottom of the tube, thus raising the chips themselves as you eat them. So you never have to tip the tube over to get to the chips. You can always, they are always within fingers reach. They are always easily accessible. Why haven't they done that yet? What, what's up with that? Is, is there like a, a flaw? In that design, obviously, you can smooth out the edges a little bit. You can refine it a, a little bit more. But the general idea is there. Why haven't they done that yet? What What's up with that? Now, you might say, Isaac. Isaac, Isaac. Stop being a wuss. Stop being a coward. You loser. Just tilt the can over, man. It's no big deal. Just tip it over. Come on now. 
Sure. Yeah. But what is America built on? What is it built around? What is the foundation of America? Convenience. Convenience. It's all about convenience. Everything nowadays is built around being convenient for you and for me and for your family. It's all about convenience. Putting a spring like device at the bottom of that tube would be convenient to their consumer. It's that simple, dude. It is that simple. It's all about convenience. It is not convenient to have the tilt to have to tilt the can over when you want to get to the chips that that are halfway down, dude. That's not convenient. That's annoying. It's kind of a hassle and it makes a mess. It makes a mess. I'm sorry, dude, but it does. Like when I'm eating my I don't eat Pringles in my car because I know when I tilt that can over, a bunch of cr- a bunch of crumbs are just going to slide right out, dude. I don't want to get those crumbs in my car. I'm sitting down. I got crumbs all over my shirt, crumbs all over my desk, crumbs all over my chair. What's up with that? That's not convenient. That's a hassle. Now I got to clean this up. I love Pringles, dude. I truly do. They're great. I just cannot see the reason as to why they won't add a device like that into every single one of their tubes. Now you might say, eh, it could be a, maybe, maybe money wise, maybe that, that might be a bit too expensive for them. Dude, they're a billion dollar company, man. Come on. Come on, dude. Don't give me that mess. Don't give me that defense, dude. Come on now. I'm not asking them to put a computer in the tube. I'm not asking them to put a, a, a camera in the tube or whatever. All right, man. All I'm asking is a very simple device that you can put in the bottom of that tube to make it more convenient to the people that are buying your snacks. What's up with that? Is, is that asking too much? Is that too much to ask? Is that is that is that so outlandish? I don't think so. See, normal bags of chips don't have this problem because they're, you know, they're wide. The bags are really wide. You can easily stick your hand down in there and grab any chips you want from the middle of the bag, from the bottom of the bag. It doesn't matter because the hole is wide enough. Pringles, it's too narrow. You can't stick your hand down in there, dude. A very simple solution is just adding something that raises the chips. Plus, it'd be fun too, dude. It'd be fun. You could like have some, they could like market around that. You know what I mean? They can market like uh, do a whole new marketing campaign around the around the fact that you can now raise the chips up using some some super secret high tech device that you can find inside the tube, dude. Easy, easy peasy. I highly doubt it would be that that expensive to design something like that. Truly, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm a crackhead. Maybe I'm an idiot. I don't know. I'm just a, a nice wholesome Pringles buyer trying to share my ideas with the world. All I'm trying to do is make Pringles even better than they already are, dude. I love Pringles. I truly do. They're one of my favorite chips, but it's just so annoying sometimes dealing with the crumbs, dealing with having to tilt the can over, dude. It's just so, so annoying. Good Lord. All I ask is some type of device like that, dude. Very easy, very simple. Doesn't even have to be like a twisting thing, dude. I don't know. I don't know how you could do it, but like the groundwork is there. I've laid the foundation. You can take that ball and run with it. That's all I ask. That's all I ask, dude. But that's going to do it for me today. But before we go, we must recommend a song. The song we are going to recommend on this fine day is Everlasting Bomb by Widescreen Mode, dude. This song is pretty good. I literally just started listening to it before I started recording this episode. <laughs> I listened to it. It popped up in my, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the Discover Weekly thing on Spotify. It popped up in there. And it's pretty good, dude. I dig it. Not too bad. Everlasting Bomb 
by widescreen mode. Very good song, dude. I like it. But that's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to share this podcast on social media. Follow it if you have the ability to do so. And if you would like, send in a voice clip using the link in the, de- in the description of this episode. Send in a voice clip if you want to ask a question. If you want to just send in just send in a compliment, do whatever you want, dude. Just make sure it's safe for the podcast, no problem. Easy peasy. Use the link in the description of this episode. Send in a voice clip if you want. Once this video is up on YouTube, please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you very much for listening, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.